Hi, this is Sean Hertel from Hertel's Coins, and today we are featuring our latest submission from PCGS. So stay tuned and check out these amazing coins out. Today you're going to be looking at some PCGS uh, coins that were recently just graded in our little special 35th anniversary box that just came back from PCGS. Um, this is a regular submission. I believe there were 17 coins in there. Um, they range from uh, Carson City, Morgan Dollars to large cents. So let's check it out and hopefully we get some good coins out of this deal. First up, we got 1890 CC. This coin, we originally had it graded. It was cracked out. This was came out of a... An older uh, PCGS holder that was cleaned and was hoping to resubmit it to hopefully get in a straight grade holder. But unfortunately, it did not. It's still coming unk detail clean, even though, like, it's still got beautiful, like, mirror finish fields on it. It's unfortunate they're calling it clean. So I'm probably going to take this one out and try it at NGC and see what they think because I haven't sent it to NGC yet. So. Hopefully we'll get something good news from NGC once we send it out. Next up, we got an 1878 Carson City Morgan Dollar. Nice little white coin. Um, nice cartwheel luster on it. Back to. So this coin's definitely blast white, which is very nice for any collector type coin. And this one came back from PCGS as MS63. So very happy with this one. Next, we got some gold coins in the mix. This one, 1912, $10 gold Indian. Very, very flashy gold and very, very sharp. Amazing eye appeal. See a little couple scratches in the face or little nicks, per se. But overall, amazing eye appeal. The reverse in this coin is absolutely gorgeous. Really like this one. This one came back PCGS MS64. So very nice. I'm probably going to send this one to CAC because it makes a huge price difference uh, with a CAC sticker on it. It's got the definite eye appeal to hopefully get a CAC sticker on it. Next we have a $1 gold piece. This is an 1889 $1 princess gold piece. Very sharp coin. Nice little gold mint luster to it. And this one came back as a PCGS MS63. So... Good grade on this one. Next we have a beautiful 1927 $20 St. Gaudens gold piece. Nice little gold luster to it. Amazing eye appeal. And this one graded MS64 by PCGS. Very nice coin. Yeah, I'm happy this one. Very nice. Next we have a 1904 $5 Gold Liberty. Again, nice eye appeal, nice gold luster to it. And this one is MS63 by PCGS grade. We have a two and a half version of 1907, so $2.50 gold coin from the U.S. Mint. Nice little eye appeal, orange gold mint luster. And then this one is MS62. And again, guys, all these coins will be available on our website um, at hertelscoins.com. And also, we do a weekly auction on our website. So if you go to our website on top, It'll say click on weekly auctions. So we do run weekly auctions on our website that goes through proxy bid. So always feel free to join the auctions. They're a lot of fun. Next we have a 1927 two and a half gold Indian. Nice little luster to it. You can see the little cartwheel effect of the gold. Very nice. This one's PCGS MS62 plus. Plus grades are fun, but I it's like just give me a 63. Why do you have to put 62 plus? Just put 63. But it's a very nice coin. It's good for any, you know, two and a half collector. 
Next, we have a 1926 sequicentennial gold piece. So it's a little gold commemorative coin of the, Amer of the American Centennial. You can see a nice little um, gold luster to it. And the funny thing is, this coin, I bought this coin over the counter. It originally was in a reject flipped from NGC saying it's possible counterfeit. So it, they never graded it. I looked at the coin and I, I determined it looked real to me. But then again, this was sent to NGC in the late 80s, early 90s, the way the flip looked. So I decided to send it to PCGS, see what they think, and they marked it as on detail clean. So they are saying it's clean, but it's an original um, gold commemorative coin, which is nice. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's, yeah. Couldn't believe NGC called it a fake back in the late 80s, but it's definitely a real coin. So a very nice hit on this one. Next we have a 1942 dime, mercury dime. So 1942 mercury dime is a very, very common mercury dime. But with this one, this is the variety. This is a 1942 over 41. As you can see right here, you can see the one next to the two. So it's a two punched over a one. So it's the variety. The Philadelphia one, this came back, of course, PCGS XF40, so it came back in a straight grade. The Philadelphia one is easy to see with the naked eye. Um, if I have a a, D -mint, a Denver Mint version of it, I'll just show you a close of view because it's, it's a lot harder to tell from the Denver one than the Philadelphia one. The Philadelphia variety you can see with your naked eye, where a uh, Denver Mint, you really need a, a, a 10 power glass to see if it's a 42 over 41. But... Then again, this is a nice investment grade piece, XF40, nice grade. So yeah, very nice. Next, we have one of Carson City Kings. We have an 1889 CC Morgan dollar. Very nice original color. Um, a lot of times you see these CCs in straight gate holders and they look almost clean. But this has got the nice original patina to it. Very beautiful coin for Carson City in the circulated condition. And this one came back in a fine 12. So very happy with this one. Very nice collector piece here. Next, we had a couple 1877 Indians. I knew there was problems with these, but I like to send them off to get them in a holder saying they're genuine, just for the customers. Um, there's no questions. Just because 1877 Indians, one of the most counterfeited Indians out there. And when the customers purchase these, they know they're purchasing a genuine piece. So this is... This one here was VG Detail, Environmental Damage. So there are pittings and things like that in it. Um, same as the other one. I knew there was going to be problems with this one, but I just wanted in a holder saying it was genuine. So this one, again, a little bit better condition as in wear. But you can see a couple scratches in it. Then they're very faint up in here, but still a nice original color original coin and this one was a fine detail saying it's got a scratch from PCGS but it's an original coin it's, it's a great coin for anybody's dance school album or trying to fill a hole where you're not paying full price but you still can pay for the coin and being a holder you know it's a genuine one next we have a 1797 large scent very nice nice original condition nice color So very happy with this one. And this one came back in a VG10 grade. And this is the stems variety. So if you look on the bottom of the wreath, you can see the two stems poking out on the sides. So yeah. So it's nice to get an early, late, I mean, it's late 1700s um, US type coin that is not environmental damage or scratch or anything like that. It's nice to have something in original. Uh, type of condition. So very nice coin here. Next we have an 1840 large scent, braided hair large scent. 
Very nice original color. You can see a little bit of the original red poking through here, which makes this a very nice coin. Again, and in the reverse, you see some lower redding in the back. So the original patina, I mean, the original color coin showing through, which is very nice in this coin. And this is an AU58. So very nice grade for the coin. Very sharp. And I like the little red sticking through here. Next we have a semi-key date large scent. Um, this is an 1813. Um, you can see the little bit of pitting in here, but it's still a nice grade. So I definitely want to get a holder being a semi-key date um, large scent. Uh, the reverse, same thing. A lot of detail left in the coin. And this one is a VF detail vitamin damage. And that's how you can see the pitting in it. But still, it's a VF type of wear on it. Uh, very nice coin for, you know, a dance goal album or somebody trying to fill a hole in the set. So, yeah, very nice. Very happy with that one. Lastly, I tried to grade this one twice. This is an 1839. And what's nice about this, there's two different varieties. One with the drapery and one without a drapery. And this one is without the drapery, which is the harder of the two varieties. Underneath the elbow, the drapery will stick out farther when it doesn't when it does have drapery and this one doesn't so it's receded back um so it's an 1839 and right back here is where they're having problems with is this little splotching white splotching here but i mean other than that the coin has very nice original patina to it especially the obverse is absolutely gorgeous original color but they're calling it via detail being clean and i pretty sure it's because of this white spot in the back that somebody rubbed it at one time but other than that very nice coin the front is dead set original color very nice um so very nice early date um harder to find variety for a type coin and lastly i guess pcgs's are handing these out it's some 35th anniversary pcgs um looks like a metal from PCGS, and I guess they're giving these out for all the regular orders. I just got mine, some type of quarterly special. So very cool little, you know, trinket you get for free from PCGS. Um, so very nice. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, all these coins will be available on our website, hertelscoins.com. Please check them out. And you're always welcome to send us an email if you have any questions. Um, until next time, just. Um, like and subscribe to our videos and I hope to see you again for one of our future coin videos. Thank you.